What up, chat? What up, YouTube? This is the Needle Podcast, episode 106, live during the draft right now. We're talking about the draft and how the Sixers got rid of Al Horford, man. And I said, you know, Al Horford is like, he, he catfished us. We thought it was good. I was all in on the, the Al Horford train. I liked it. I thought it was a good move. I thought it was solid. Obviously, it was for a lot of money. But when it turned out last year, Horford did not really work. So we got out of that deal things. real quick, man. We got out of the deal real quick. It was like getting catfished. In the beginning of the date, we were able to get out of the date early, pop back, and now we're back on Tinder with money in the bank, shopping, feeling good. Uh, but I don't really watch the draft. I'm not really... Bro, listen. Ha, this The draft is the same thing. Everybody gets some highlights. And and honestly, we never really know. We never know, right, chat? We never really know what's going to happen. We never really know uh, who that player is, what's his downside, what's his upside, like what's he going to be. Sometimes they're terrible. Sometimes they're great, you know? And we don't know until five years from now. So this is what I do tomorrow. I'll look at Bleacher Report and say, oh, the Sixers did this, 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 this. Okay, sounds good, you know? They don't know. Y'all don't know shit. Y'all don't know a damn thing, bro. Y'all don't know nothing. And the worst part is, it's a lot of people out there that swear they know. That swear they know. Oh, this guy, this guy's not a primary ball handler. Oh, he needs to be the second option on a high scoring team. He likes to play the wing with his left hand to the basket. Like, who the fuck are you, Doc Gooden, bro? Come on, man. Check West facts. Kane, what's up, man? I know it's been a while since we had a show. These these games, we've been watching the games, we've been streaming the uh the the MCS games, and I'll tell you, I don't know which game's been the good. I feel like they've been kind of meh. The games have been kind of meh. I'm actually sip finesse. That's a good point because it reminds me to bring up my sponsors of the podcast, man. Players Lounge, of course, the best site for wagers on any video game that you want that you play 2K, FIFA, NHL, but whatever you play, especially Madden. So make sure you check out Players Lounge. That link is below. I am sipping gamer subs. This is my energy drink that keeps us going all night, streaming, playing games, locked in, cracked, high motor, high intensity. It has nootropics in it. What that does, it keeps your focus really sharp. So if you haven't tried it, it's the cheapest energy supplement on the gaming market. Those links are below, boys, for sure. Now listen, what game was really good? What game was uh, what, what game was really good? That's that's when I look at them. Uh. I don't know, boys. I mean, I, I'm trying to think because last week there was eight games that we missed. Blocky game was good. It was cool. Kiv D. Croft wasn't that good. It wasn't a Kiv D. Croft type of game. Let's think about it. Penguins. Nah, it was okay. It was mid. It was mid. I will tell you, the listen. The games itself, kind of underwhelming. The storylines, kind of tough. I don't know. Are we, I feel like Earl's game was, I feel like Earl's game had more momentum because we were watching it. But the games have been kind of mid. <clears throat> the games have been kind of mid. Um, but that is what we've been doing Tuesday. But today there's no games. I feel like we're, go are they going to the once a week uh, one division per week from here on out. Is that it? Franchise game. That was good. I don't know. Maybe it was good. I don't know. So we'll see. So they're going to four games. Every, um, ice is the voice. Ice. Don't care about ice. Eat, sleep, rave, Raheem. Oh, my gosh. Franchise a platform. I mean, franchise is the man, bro. I, listen, we'll talk about franchise. But I want to talk about my man, that boy. I do want to talk about that boy. I, I do, bro. I do, I do, I do, I do, I do, I do. Because I don't know if you guys saw my man, that boy. I don't know who the hell this, that boy was. I don't, I don't know. And I, I've told you guys... 
a million and two and million I, I and four you. million times on this show that if people don't know who the hell you are, listen, if people don't know you, have never heard of you, don't know anything about you, they are going to pick against you, no matter who you play. Seriously. Now, y'all are going to stop dick eating. You guys are going to stop dick eating, bro. All right? Y'all going to... Because nobody was dick eating before my man played Blocky. Everybody told jokes and giggity, giggity, ha, ha, black Madden, white Madden, you know, Muslim Madden, you know, Middle East Madden, uh, South American Madden. All y'all was giggity, giggity, ha, 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 he going to lose. Let's keep it real, chat. Stop dick eating. All right? That's what we're going to do before this all starts. We are going to stop dick eating. Okay? Especially Witness. Witness is the number one, bro. He is the number one. I, and for me, as we see, see right here. Look, 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 look. On call. On call. You know what I'm saying? Now, like I said, but that's how it works. Honestly, that's how it works, okay? That is how it works. People will hate on you. People will laugh at you before they know who you are. Seriously. They, if they don't know you, you will get laughed at. You will get called a bum. You're a weekend league. You're a bot. All that, that, that will happen. It will 1 million percent always happen. Okay, boys? Have we had to in 4K. You know what I'm saying? No, but for real. No matter who it is, uh, you will get talked down on. And you guys got to realize this, man. If you're playing this game, when you have your first, when you have your first little breakthrough, right? Your first little good game, everybody that's already been, that's in the community will definitely try to find a way to bring you down. It's going to happen every time when somebody new gets their little win or starts popping on leaderboards or starts getting a little buzz everybody will try to bring them down and talk bad. It literally happens every single time. I feel like we had this conversation all the time, right? So, before the game, everybody said, my man, that boy's going to get flooded. I'll be honest. I was probably one that said, he's going to get popped. You know why? I know Blocky. I know Blocky is, has had a lot of success. We all know him to be a good player. That boy, I'll be honest, we didn't know him. Why are people like that, man? I that's a that's a Tim Tim that's a people question, you know, because people like to think of themselves as as you know people like to think highly of themselves and nobody else can can be on this level and nobody else can you know achieve what I can or something like that, you know. But I I don't know. But it happens to everybody. It happened to me. It happened to uh, literally every single person when they first start popping on Madden. We'll get the same treatment. And uh, you kind of got to develop a pedigree, I guess. Develop a, uh, develop a, my, or just a, yeah, a resume, essentially, before people really start um, not questioning you for the most part, really. Yeah, the spread was bad. The spread was bad. Now, Donnie. They, t they brought up, was it the biggest upset in MCS history? And I'll ask you guys that. Was that boy beating Blocky the number one upset in MCS history? I don't know. But I know what mine is. I, I don't know, man. The tail of the tape. Jaybird. <laughs> Noah was an upset. I don't think in the finals you can kind of get an upset. Because Noah, like, made it through the finals. Like, he's in the finals. Like, how can that be an upset if he's already in the finals? I don't know. Killer Mike. Um, Me versus Hollywood in Madden 17 was my biggest fucking upset. That's my biggest upset at the time. That's me. All right. Problem is, don't, don't, first of all, I should, first of all, I should never be an underdog versus problem. I don't care if you, my, you guys never heard of me, okay? Let 
Deliverance. Deliverance beat Joko. Not bad. It's a lot, bro. I do think me beating uh, Hollywood was that at the time was super big upset. But uh, anyway, so back to that. So my man's gonna get some hate, but none of y'all picked him. I'm gonna be real. None of y'all picked him. All y'all had jokes. Now, now here comes the dicky in part. Okay, now. I will uh, tell you guys that uh, after the game, you know, and, and and listen, my man, that boy was proud that he uh, that he be rocking by himself, bro. And that's, that's a lot. That means a lot that you be rocking by yourself because when you play by yourself, you kind of always had a mindset, damn, if I had another me to like another mind to, you know, beat this shit off, Paul, whoa, you know, like to throw your ideas at, it was, a little, I, you know what I meant, like to... I throw ideas off of whatever you know what I'm saying like be, I, I, yeah that was, I don't know bro yeah, but you know what I'm talking about right you know <laughs> if you had another mind to throw ideas off of back and forth um I think uh that always helps so while you're playing you always think that bro if I had somebody else to help me yo and you always think like bro such and such has this guy they have that guy you know uh who's he play oh blocky has all these TNC guys all this stuff bro like so you always think like, man, I would be so much better if, if it was, it's always a big if in your mind and then in all the time. So to pop up, man, you got to be proud of yourself and you should be proud of that. And, uh, you know, and that's a big deal. And obviously what, what, uh, was special for me is that once my man won, he said, man, the only crew I would fuck with is W and the needed gaming squad. And I said, you know what? And for me, that's always my goal is to have a squad that people look at and say, I want to be part of that. Not something where I have to go, let me go get everybody that wins and try to make my squad resume look tougher. Oh, this guy be winning. Let me add him real quick. Let me add that guy. But something that's a little bit more real and a little bit more authentic, you know, than just let me just try to get everybody that wins and everything like that and add them to my squad and say, look how much money we won or look how many games we won and things like that, man. I think uh, the authenticity of squad i feel like that's a that's an important thing and i think that's something that people can respect and that's what i've always wanted to build and always wanted to have so to see the acknowledgement from a kid that i i don't know i didn't know i never talked to this kid i don't think so maybe i did but uh to see the acknowledgement from somebody to, to see everything that we have built as a team that meant a lot to me man I'm not sneak this now. I've always, I, you know, the sneak this, JP, bro, I always think this shit's corny, bro. Just adding people just to just like, bro, like, and Blocky's the main, yo, Blocky's like the coolest kid, bro. He's in a million di different crews every, every year. I just feel like, I, I just feel like, man, my squad is my friends, man. Uh, These are dudes that will be my friends for, it's not about, you know, and this is what I'm saying, like, and, and, and y'all like, yo, sign the kid, bro. Bring him. Down. If he'd have lost, none of y'all would have said that, bro. None of y'all would have said that shit. You know what I'm saying? So for me, uh, I think it's important to, uh, you know, genuinely like, uh, like the people you're with and and uh, you know support them. And not only mad and everything else. Like my my mad and friends are my my friends, dude. For real, like. And I think that's kind of important. But at the same time, I do feel like my future, I need to branch out to get these people that I really don't have a relationship with. You know, I really don't have uh, the same type of, you know, personal relationship with. I need to go find some kids uh, that want to grind, man. And maybe my man, that boy is it. He, he probably could be it. We'll see, man. We will see what the future holds, man. No, and honestly, Colin, this is my point. I feel like 818... I feel like they're pretty strong with the same with the same you know philosophy that I have. You know what I'm saying? No, see, squads are not like the NFL teams, bro. It's not that I I feel like that. I feel like the EMBs and the TNC these motherfuckers don't care. All they want to do is add people, bro. They don't. They not, bro. Man, I'm about to add some people, bro. That boy is tough. He looked tough. And I'll tell you this, Dior. None of y'all said that before the game. 
Y'all said, this was, oh, that's Josh too fresh. Oh, he's ass. So, okay. You'll cop every, Flappy for sure, you'll cop his merch. Because I'll tell you, you're damn sure not copping my fucking merch. So if his merch is that amazing, goddamn, he might as well put out his own merch. Because y'all ain't copping my shit. The links are below, needygamingstore.com. Damn. Bro, snow camo hoodie. No, but I do feel like um, I do need to start venturing out and getting some, not even men, but honestly, I, I, I feel like the competitive stuff is not the not the wave, not really. You know, I feel like I need streamers, bro. Bro, it's not, Donnie, yes, I don't know. My, I mean, dude, my friends will always be my friends. One time, I had a friend named Skimbo. That was my best man friend, bro, and he went to a whole nother squad with a pink jersey. He left my squad and went to a pink jersey squad. Did I did I hate him? It was, I still talked to him just as much. It was still the same person. Didn't change much. For real, for real. He didn't we didn't change we didn't change much. Our relationship didn't really change. You know what I'm saying? Toke, yeah. I'ma add Toke, bro. No, competitive. I don't know. Sneedy gaming. No, but I do have to venture out and sign some kids and get everything like that, bro. And I mean, we're we going to, listen, I'm going to lock into the stream. We're going to get his stream popping, all that stuff, man. My MLB is going to pop. <laughs> Laz versus. <laughs> Laz versus. But honestly, like I said, I, I feel like my group of guys are, I mean, we're like friends, so it's not like. And I'll be real, my group is kind of ass, bro. Like, it's kind of ass. Like, user, user gave up to fucking commentate. You know, Trey is, what's crazy about my squad, Trey be capping like he the one with all the accolades. Trey acts like he's the one with the accolades. That's what's like, how do that make any sense? Then we got, we got Clef. He, Clef is like, bro, we're like, we're kind of like, bro, we're kind of like the Cavs. And Clef is kind of the LeBron that we got, bro. We the kind of only one. You know what I'm saying? And Trey is like Booby Gibson, bro. Trey is Booby Gibson. That's Trey. But let him tell it. Let him tell it. He's Kyrie. <laughs> Yo. Booby Gibson. Moist nickel, man. Booby Gibson. Okay. We're okay with a booby mentality. <laughs> We're okay with... And you you stuck with a booby mentality. What the fuck? Nah, he not JR. I'm JR. <laughs> I'm JR. Relax. I am clearly JR Smith. <laughs> I'm clearly JR Smith. Bugs Delante West? Nah, but stop disrespecting Bugs. Bugs is like, Bugs is like Eric Snow, bro. He Eric Snow. Skimbo is Big Z, Ogaskis. Skimbo definitely Ogaskis, one million percent. He moved like him and everything. User, bro, user a fan. At this point, user in the upper deck, bro. User in the upper deck with his peanuts on the ground, bro. User the mascot. Oh, man. User got season tickets. He got season tickets. Yo, and when people talk about Madden, bro, Madden 20, User was a club fucking champion. So don't ever compare this game to Madden 20. To, to Madden 20. User was a club champion. And y'all had the audacity to ever say this game is worse than Madden 20. User put an offensive lineman out there that was fucking forearm shivering people on the ground and won a club. All right? And y'all, there's no way y'all could bring up, compare this game to the last one, bro. Defending. I actually, yo, he's not even, he's not even defending. He, he still is the club champion. He still is. He's the one. 
my man user blitz seven people and put and put the big show at a tight end and just threw people out the way and ran. God, yo, bro. Yes, Madden 20. Books, I just did. User won a club. What? Books, you're capping. Shut up. Is user the best streamer? Is you yo all right? Rank the streamers in the squad chat. Rank rank the streamers. Just not Madden. Just streaming. Rank the streamers in the squad. As that's what I need to see now, cause I need to know, bro. Users the best. <laughs> Damn, Trey, they got bugs over you. <laughs> oh man, bro. User last, y'all trapping. Ninety-eight, <laughs> Trey, relax. Damn, Trey is 9,099. Damn, he made a chat forget about bugs. Damn. Damn, skimble number two, Mog. Damn, bugs don't even have the Nodi. Y'all turned off y'all Nodi gang for bug streams? My man Dave, there he is. Y'all gotta follow my man Dave's stream. Once Dave start popping, it might be over. My man Vilma got 300 followers. But see, he ain't been really, he ain't really been putting them zones out there, bro. Vilma might really pass everybody, bro. Make sure y'all follow my man Vilma's stream, bro. User up there after Clef. Say no more. Bugs is goaded. <clears throat> if Trey Music wasn't dog shit, he'd be top. All right. All right. Whose music is better, bro? Hugh, Hugh, yo, whose music is better? Bugs or Trey? Whose music is better, bro? Bugs or Trey? Witness the yes, cap. Shut up. <laughs> oh, shit. It's a poll. It's a poll. Damn, y'all gonna put these polls on one minute. I'm voting Bugs. I'm voting Bugs. I'm voting Bugs music over Trey music. I don't know. 21 Savage being Trey chat? Trey be rocking the 21? Yo, Trey be rocking the 21 Yavage? <laughs> 21 Yavage. All right. All right. Call the fight. Throw in the towel. Throw in the towel. Throw in the towel. My man dope with the 10 months, man. My man C Raw with the 10 months. Jay Shelley too with that nine months. Moist nickel. We might have to do a song battle. We might have to do a song battle. We might have to, chat. We might have to bring back the song battles. All right, I'm the, I'm the greatest song battle person in the world. Bro, Trey, they've been asking a difference since you bluffed the rematch with the chip. Chat will never forget when you bluffed the chip rematch. Chat, do you guys remember when he's like, yo, I got flooded by the chip, but I'm going to stand up for myself on Saturday. I got this second chip. I'm going to do it. Yeah, yeah. And then it never happened. 
Then you got flooded by the peanuts. You know what I'm saying? He got the only way he gets back, the only way he gets back to neutral is that you gotta do the one ship again, bro. You have to bro. He made a Twitter post. Bro, he paid somebody to make a fucking graphic of him versus the chip. He paid money for the shit and didn't do it. Yo, he was in the he was in the, he was in the group chat like yo 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 y'all think this look good? I paid I paid money for this. It look good. We was like, bro, get that shit. Don't nobody care. Then he posted it like yeah and never did it. I mean, Trey's cooking. I mean, I can't. The, the last couple been cool, so I haven't commented. They've been okay. You know, Trey's in a, in a spot now where he you kind of want to just slander him for everything. But his last meals ain't been too bad. You know, you can't really slander him, John. I, I'll be honest. The meals he make are not fucking postable. You know what I'm saying? And and I think this is what Trey do. He say, yo, I'm going to make a meal just for Twitter. He don't even want to eat this shit. He makes this shit just to post a picture and that's it. Motherfucker, yo, he dead ass posted a picture of a sandwich. A sandwich. Bro, a sandwich. Bro. Then, oh yeah, we might have to fry. Nah, I'm not frying. I'm not frying, bro. Bro. He got the only way he get about is 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 if he do the chip again. That's all. He just gotta do the chip. He just gotta do the chip. That's all. No. No, but that boy is cracked. We'll see, man. And and like I said, as we go back to the topic at hand, uh, people will always hate on you when you have your first little bit of success. You know what I'm saying? They'll always hate on you. You know what I'm saying? And uh you just gotta overcome that for real, for real. You just gotta keep pushing through. Uh, and for me, but he balled out, won the Dolphins club, um, and we'll see how it goes from here. And, and definitely, definitely a kid I'm on the lookout for. Definitely a kid we might add to the squad, bro. We, we want to have internal meetings with squad, make sure and get my man. We, we at least want to get my man, that boy stream up and popping for real, for real, man. Zombies tonight. No, no, no. There is no zombies tonight. No, no zombies. The next time I do zombies, I'll be waking up with a 40-ounce coffee, and I'll be ready to rock with three guys that are committed to the 100. That's it. Yeah, I'm not, and I'm not playing 2K until I get my player back, bro. So I'm, I, this, that eliminates two games, bro. But anyway, we got a lot of topics to talk about, bro. Thoughts on the next generation Madden? I don't know. I'll have thoughts when I play this shit. One timers. I really didn't. I looked at some. I looked at the trailer. Looked great. It looked great, honestly. It looked great. But you know that I, I will tell you this: the next generation it had the same damn animations. I'll tell you that. But I'm okay with that. I'm not an animation snob. I'm not an animation snob. For real, for real. Oh, the trailer's always tough. All right, let's talk about franchise. Let's talk about franchise LLs. Bro. Let's talk about franchise. First of all, let me tell you this, bro. One. Franchise disconnected people the first week of the game. Right? He did that shit. He disconnected people the first week. Uh, was it wrong? Yes. Um, the thing that was wrong about it, I'll be honest, the thing that was wrong about it was that he was kind of flaunting it. You know, he was kind of thinking he was bigger than the game. Right? Right, Chad? He was kind of thinking like, they won't catch me, I'm the man. Right? Yeah, that's kind of what was... That's, I feel like that was kind of what turned people off, especially the competitive, because I'll be honest, yo, we're some scumbags, man. Madden players are some scum, I'll be honest, you know, maybe not me at this older age, you know, but we're scum, and we'll scum some shit 
right? If you're not cheating, you're not competing. We've seen Tom Brady do it. We've seen Belichick do it. We've seen that, bro. Listen, people will try to cheat and do something, bro. It's just going, bro. It's just like, bro. It's going to happen, bro. It's just going to happen. Be honest. I remember Madden 08. Uh, Madden 08 used to be able to disconnect people. You run back, get a safety on a safety punt, kick the ball. I did it to a fuck boy one time. Yeah, I got him out of here. Not gonna give me an L. I was top ten in the world. Not gonna get an L from that. Yeah, but it's kind of your attitude about it. Cause first of all, first of all, um, I feel like uh, you need to have. When it first happened, I feel like uh, you you should have said something. I I'm not a PR expert, but I'm pretty hip on the PR. I'm pretty hip. I'm pretty hip, and I feel like you should have said something. Uh, you either go one way or the other, man. You either full send the villain role, or you apologize and be like, yeah, I, you know, they got me. Sorry. And honestly, if if a player comes out and says, you know what? I was trying to not get a loss. I'm sorry. I mean, seriously, what could, they, what could then the people say to a person? Bro, like, damn. All right? I, I and we talked about this a bunch, you know. I think it was tough to ban somebody for the year for a disconnection. I think that I think that was a little bit rough. I really do. Um Now, when he got into the online part of the tournament, he qualified. Cause qualify cause franchise is not is is first of all, franchise is not the greatest player, but he would be able to qualify for every tournament. One million percent, he would. So it didn't affect him qualifying. He didn't get into the tournament from disconnecting people and cheating. No, he did not. So he gets into the tournament. His offense was this glitch run with, with the quarterback, where the quarterback just gets the ball and runs. Like, it's not a draw. It was literally like a direct snap, and the quarterback's running before the defense moves. The quarterback literally gets five yards before the defense moves. That's That was his offense, right? So halfway through the online portion of the tournament, franchise, uh, that run then gets banned. The the, the, the CEO or the, the, the rule maker of the tournament says, that run is banned, franchise, you can't run it. So then he has to play Vilma to get to win the Xbox side of the Jets. And as soon as he's about to play Vilma, that's when Vilma says the F word in the in the chat, then gets banned for and they kick Vilma out of the tournament. They give the win to franchise GG. So he didn't have to win. He literally kind of got the win. All he really beat was uh kind of the bots in the club series on the Jets, really. So he didn't really win the Xbox side. He wasn't the best player on the Xbox side. But he fluked into an Xbox Jets championship. Be honest, he did. And um, uh, so now franchise is the Xbox Club champion. Uh, and then he proceeded to get absolutely his fucking brain beat in. Uh, Might have been the worst performance in the history of the MCS. Uh, I don't know. You guys could tell me if I'm wrong. Uh, who knows? So he 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 lost by 30 points and 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 the, and the other guy didn't have to play offense. He lost on just turning the ball over. So he got embarrassed. So obviously here comes the narrative that he only made it because he disconnected people, because he actually had to get on the stage and play and got popped. And his first L was wearing the Bugs glasses. Really, that was, that was his first L. Bugs might be the only person that can wear the glasses. He's the only one that can wear the glasses. Now. The glasses are still an L, but Boogs actually kind of pulls off the glasses, right? Boogs actually kind of, I don't think he's successful with the glasses, but they're his glasses. You know, I mean. And then, did Joke play his big games? Now, I've talked to Joke. On the personal level. And he's, he's denied playing franchises games. You know. Now, I, you know, and this is like offseason. No, I don't know. Now, I've played franchise in about seven online tournaments, bro. And I will tell you, every single one has been a hell game. He's been tough. I don't know. What I saw yesterday, uh, that wasn't the same guy. I don't know. But I, like I said, Joke always denies playing his games. And I, I don't know. I Joke, Joke. Kind of, he'd be honest with me a lot of other stuff. So I, I, I don't think he's lying about that. I think uh, franchise plays his games. 
So I don't know, but who knows? Um, so yeah, so then franchises franchise does the fake apology, which I really thought, I really thought it was going to be like, uh, like you know what I'm saying? I really thought it was going to be a sincere p- apology. I really did. He got me. One, because he was fucking stuttering. He didn't want to spit it out. Pause. He was like, uh, I, I, I know, uh, I ain't a lot of, uh, you know, I, 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 mind you, he was down 30 fucking points. So it's hard to have a speech when you're down 30 points, right? Hard to have a speech when you're down 30. What can you say? I was like, okay. He, I was like, okay, he's, he's about to apologize. I was like, that's a pretty cool thing to do. You know, uh, you know. So the stuttering came out, and then he said, I want to apologize to nobody. Now, I'll be honest. He should have said fucking nobody. If he would have said, I want to apologize to fucking nobody, he might have been mad. No, I'm not playing the clip, bro. I'm good. And I'm like, bro, who are, like, then I think about it. Then I think about, then I think about the shit. Who the fuck are you? As Connor, who like who like bro? What? I don't feel like you have enough pedigree, and I'll be honest, don't nobody really give a shit. I just thought it was weird and, and awkward. Really, I don't know, bro. I I don't have the clip. I don't I don't want to search for the clip. I don't want to play the clip. I don't want to play it. No, I'm done. That's it. That's the end of it. It will not be played. Not happening. Yeah, you can't you can't have a speech when you're down by thirty, bro. You can't can't have a speech when you're down by thirty. I am not playing the fucking clip. It's not happening. Literally not happening. I'm not playing the clip. Not happening. God damn, bro. How Ice called a timeout with one second left. Yeah, that was that was so cool. Ha 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 No, but it was corny. I, I I did think everything. I think the way he handled the whole situation from the beginning of the year was corny. And now he's stuck. He's going to be an enemy forever. He's going to be a villain. When in actuality, he wasn't a villain. Nobody thought Franchise was a villain. Franchise, he's a good guy. He's a happy-go-lucky type of guy, bro. He's always got a smile. He's a jolly good fellow. He's not like jokey. Joke, when you're at a man's home, a joke is kind of like a more miserable person. Like, you don't want to approach joke. Like, joke is like, yo, like, but Franchise is the opposite. Franchise is, got, uh, you know, a happy little little guy. <laughs> he He's in a good mood all the time. Now, he... He's not he's not a he's not the villain type, but he has portrayed himself now as a villain. When he's not that person. He's a good guy. You know? But now he's stuck. Bro, he could win ten yo, franchise could win ten belts. He'll always be the DC guy. You know? It's not, basketball is not even like, it's not even a day. It's like this whole year. Like, bro, like, yeah, that's what I'm saying. He's not a scum. Like, he's not scum, bro. He's not a scummy dude for real, for real. But he's just, I don't know what. Yeah, he might have been a bad Addy trip. It might have been a bad trip. But Joke don't even, wouldn't even do that, bro, for real, for real. Like, oh, man. I don't know. Uh, let me tell you, so he's trying to get his name out there. Trey, well, the best way to get your name out of there is fucking not lose by 30. Well, maybe losing by 30 was a better way. Maybe he's one step ahead of all of us. Nah, franchise not a bad egg. And now, now he's going to look like a bad egg, but he's not a bad egg. He's not a bad egg type of guy, bro. Really, he's really not a bad egg type of guy. Seriously. I mean, he's been scummy this year, Kent, for sure. But I, he, I don't think he's been scummy before this. I don't know. What? I would not defend people and say what? Like, what is it supposed to say? 
Yeah, he's ahead. Facts. He lost by 30. Maybe he's a marketing genius. Facts. Losing by 30 was a business decision. Could be. Like I said, and I've said this before, I didn't think that the disconnection was uh, ban worthy. But they could have banned him. I don't know how you guys thought. Like, I, 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 I thought that was, a, I thought banning somebody was a little bit steep. And I said that a lot from the beginning, really. All right, all right, all right, Donnie, let's relax. He's not one of the coolest fucking players. Let's relax, okay? He's not one of the coolest Madden players, Donnie. Let's all let's all stop let's all stop drinking from the fountain right now, okay? Nah, crazy. I see. I don't think the villain role. I don't think the villain role works for streaming. I don't know. Maybe you got. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm right. I don't think. I don't think there's a successful streamer that's a villain. Maybe I'm wrong. And I th I'm thinking about like all the streamers that I watch, all the bigger streamers. Do you guys? I don't know. Fifty cooler players, Donnie. Easily, I can name fifty. No, I don't know. I I I don't. I mean, I don't know. The Bugs game. Noah, what's up? There he is, man. Noah was getting missled. N Noah was getting piss missled by TD Barrett. He was getting YouTube missled yesterday. Noah was getting fucking diced and sliced by the Barrett. Facts, Trey. They told me Noah was a defensive genius. Bro, A2, they told me Noah was a defensive mastermind. I seen TD Bear missling his shit. I said, damn, okay. Third in Africa missiles. <laughs> nah, but that's it. That apology was super crummy. That that shit was crummy though, seriously. That shit was an L. Then it wasn't even executed right, bro. If you're gonna do that, you gotta say the shit with your chest. You gotta say it with your chest. If you're gonna full send the villain role, you gotta full send with your chest first. Not your fingertip or not your toes. You gotta full send. Chest first. If you can't master the villain role, you haven't done enough reading. Studio, I mean, possibly. Now you gotta say it with your chest, bro. TD, bro, TD's tough. You know why? Because I feel like a lot of YouTubers are good enough. And my friend CC, I feel like CC is good enough to play in the man tournaments, but he's pussy. I, I, I don't know, bro. I don't know. I feel like I feel like CC is good enough to win a club. I feel like CC is good enough to make a run. I really do, and that shit make I admit it's like, bro, the fun that is the tournament, bro. I feel like that shit. I, it's the most honestly, honestly though. Like whether I get popped in the first round or I can make the final four or I make whatever it is. The playing in the tournament is probably the most fun the whole year. It really is. And, like, I, I don't understand how other, like, the YouTubers don't that are good enough. Now, Toke sucks. Skomo is, like, bro, Sk my son is going to be better than Somo, Skomo in three years. When As soon as my son can, like, hold this shit right here, as soon as his hands can hold this thing, he's going to be better than Skomo. One million percent. Right? I, I've never watched Xerxes play. He might suck. I don't know if he's better than Skomo. Right? But CC is good at the game, man. Like, I, I feel like, bro, pop up. This shit is fun to me. Like, playing in a tournament is the most fun in the world, bro. And, and I don't know. 
Yeah, the the spo- the coin sponsorship, I guess, is the. And I don't know. Maybe I need a coin sponsorship because maybe they're making that much money. But me, yeah, Xerxes is automatically over top of uh, Scomo Big Paws because of over Scomo because of uh, beaten joke. Qualifying for the tournament is easy. There he is, man. TD Barrett with the 20 gifted, the piss missile expert himself. Barrett, the god. The god. Chat, I'll be honest, TD. The chat told me you looked like Butthead from Beavis and Butthead. It wasn't my joke. It wasn't my joke. But they said you looked like Butthead. And I, you know what? I was. I mean, I'm not going to say I, I, I said they were wrong. But, you know, I mean, it wasn't my joke. But shout out to TD, bro. I feel like that that was a, uh, I feel like he balled out. I, I I don't know if I could score 20 points on Noah. I don't know. We all look like someone. I look like a bald guy. I don't know. Oh, the chat is crazy, too. But TD, they're going to fry somebody, bro. No, but I, I, I do. Uh, it was dope. It was dope to see TD rock out. Because I, I really feel like, man, playing in the tournaments. And TD, tell you, bro, this shit is like. Bro, this shit is funny, like, or this shit is fun playing in a tournament. It really is. It's like, and one thing about me, like, if I played the game and I thought I was good, I would always in the back of my mind say, bro, what if I tried? What if I tried? What if I tried to play? What if I tried to play? What if I tried to play? I could do it if I tried. If, 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 if. Just do the shit, bro. Just, just rock out. I don't look like Mr. Clean. Mr. Clean is way more like, Mr. Clean is brolic, bro. Mr. Clean is brolic. Have y'all seen Mr. Clean in that little ass t-shirt? Bro, he's like, yo, Mr. Clean is built like fucking Tyson Hill or some shit. I'm like, what the hell? Yeah, facts, Griffin. Damn. Yeah, for real, just play, man. Shit is fun. And, and you know what's tough about in, in, in TD Shoes is that you do feel like a lot of people watch and root for you, man. And, and the more people, honestly, the more people that root for you, the, the more pressure you have, the more, like, you feel like you're playing for a bunch of people. My man Lucky with the gifted, man. All right. Mr. Clean? Nah, the Mr. Clean white tee versus the V-neck is way, way tougher. The Sixers got McConnell back? The Sixers are winning tonight, bro. The Sixers are winning tonight. And Gene going to say some dumb shit about how the Sixers aren't winning. No, blah, 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 blah. TD, they're always going to say shit like that, bro. That's always that's what I mean. You got to understand, the more success you will start having in competitive men, they're going to find a way to bring that shit back. They're going to find a way. And listen, TD, when you got to realize, right? When you align yourself with joke and franchise, there's going to be controversy. You're going to be in the whole realm of conspiracy. You're gonna, it's going to happen. All right, watch. When the Sixers get hardened for thigh bull and, and, and a shoebox, watch. The conspiracy. Earl year. Earl year. Where's Earl at, bro? Earl year. I seen Noah on the stream yesterday when they were talking about him picking the Patriots for the club series. I, you know what? And I, I saw Noah try to like, he was stuttering on try, And this, this hurt my soul a little bit, bro. This hurt my soul watching Noah try to explain why he picked the fucking Patriots. It hurt my soul a little bit. He was like, well, my cousin is a big Patriots fan. Um, My uncle once met Tom Brady. So I was like, I'll pick the Patriots. Bro, he, he was like, yo, then he was like, Belichick was my, he was my favorite coach. Bro, all you had to say was, I heard Skimbo wasn't playing. So I picked the Patriots. Yo, what the fuck? Yo, what? He was not ready for the question. Everybody else was like, I'm a big Patriot fan. I'm a big fan of the team. It's such an honor to represent. Oh. 
Bro, like what? His favorite coach. <laughs> Yo, he's my favorite coach. I thought he was going to take off the jersey and had a Wentz jersey underneath. I really thought he was going to take off the, the Patriot jersey and had a Wentz jersey underneath. No, if you win the whole shit, you got to take the jersey and have, just have, the, have the, the Eagles jersey underneath. It has to happen. Or I'm be honest. And this is honestly, this is why, and it's a dumbass reason. I'm I'm such a, a, a nerd Eagle fan, right? Right? Um I I would be I would be a little salty in that sense. Not really if I won a club, but if I had won the whole the whole tournament, I guess I wouldn't be salty because I'd have a hundred grand or hundred and fifty grand, right? But it's like, bro, like imagine if I was like the you know, like the Colts Club Series champion and like bro, like and you win the whole tournament, it's like, and you dumb hype, but you got to, like, rep the Colts and shit like that. I mean, I couldn't do this shit. I couldn't do it. Yeah, one time Bill Belichick spit on me in the crowd. I really, I never thought of what's the easier path. I always think of if I win, what's the best option or what's the best outcome. That's always kind of been my my thought process with it, you know. The Colts are the dullest team in the NFL. Can you find the dullest, uh, more dull? T- like, what's a cooler team? The Browns or the Colts? Debatable. Now, the only upside that the Colts have is they once had Peyton Manning, right? Colts are the biggest L, bro. The Colts are the biggest L. Seriously, the Colts, the only thing that has saved the entire Colts family or the entire Colts franchise, one, they had two quarterbacks, Unitas and Peyton Manning. Pat McAfee is a W. Yeah, the Browns are better. Like, seriously, what's worse than the Colts? Luck is ass. Luck that luck does not move the needle of coolness. Luck actually brings your coolness. Luck luck was such a nerd, he brings your coolness down a little bit. Robert Mathis. Okay. R- Robert Mathis is the bust out name we we went with. Robert Mathis? Robert Mathis was our bust out name? That was it? Is that what we went to? Robert Mathis. Oh my god, bro. Robert Mathis. Uh, and here goes this fuck guy. What kind of monitor do you got? What? Wait, wait to read the room there, buddy. Way to read the room there, buddy. <laughs> what kind of monitor do you got? Like, what the, yo, I, I swear to God, I hate Twitch. <laughs> oh my God. Jacoby Biscuit. <laughs> what kind of monitor do you got? Robert Mathis. Chad is such a L, dude. It's the plebes that are L. All right, Earl Week. Earl, 49ers Club Series champion. Pretty cool, right? It's pretty cool. Earl won the Club Series. He won. He beat Samoa's finest. And be honest, can we be honest as Chad? He kind of got lucky as fuck. <laughs> Earl gonna be like, no, see, I picked I picked Robert Mathis because he has 57 catch, and that's the threshold for a D lineman. That why that's the threshold. That's labbed. The threshold for the D lineman. Honestly, I don't remember really what happened. I remember he called a pick from D lineman. Um he do a dot on a post. And I'll be real. The, the One of the biggest reasons why Earl won that game is because he went on a drive where he just do a dot every third down. Like, for real. Like, 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 And that's what people realize. Like, Earl caught a lucky-ass pick six. It was lucky as fuck. Right? It changed the momentum. Right? But Earl had a drive in the second half where he just had shit, shit play, shit play, shit play. Then third and eight, dot. Shit play, shit play. Third and ten, dot. Shit play, shit play. Third and seven, dot. Like, bro, that's like, bro, that that takes fucking stones. And that's part of the big reason why he won, bro. For real, for real. 
Yeah, that was a big that was a big reason why he won, seriously. Oh, so, so he picked Robert Mathis over Javon Curse because of his catch rating. Not bad. You know. All right. And that Taliban's running his short sides, short side trips. See, now let me tell you something. It's a lot of people that think they're good at fucking Madden because they flip their trips. Listen, I won a whole Madden tournament. A Madden belt is hanging up here when I didn't flip shit. Bunch, trips, goal line, wide trips, shotgun tight. I didn't flip a goddamn play. No play. And I won a whole fucking tournament without flipping anything. So all these people put, they're like snobby because they people don't flip their plays. Bro, like, and y'all got to realize, just because somebody flips their plays doesn't make them good. And because somebody doesn't flip their plays, it doesn't make them bad. That's not the reason. You know what I'm saying? I hate that shit, bro. Yeah, I should go back to not flipping. Not flipping, I was better. Bro, that shit like and I and I also like this. P yes, people do what they see. Oh, Kiv flips this oh, oh J Wall flips trips. Oh yeah. I will tell you this about flipping and not. There are plays that work to the wide side and there's plays that work to the short side. You just have to know what plays you can call and why they work and why the spacing is better. You know, there's some advantages to having a bunch of people on the short side of the field. One, they have more room on the field to run. Like, there's more room to run. If your trips are on the short side, they have so much more yards to run a crossing route, a slant, anything. It opens things up to the wide side of the field. Like, there's advantages and disadvantages to everything. People flip their trips and they have no fucking idea what they're doing. They just see, uh, that's in the ebook. you know? YouTube ruin Madden. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. I hate when people say that. YouTube ruined Madden. Did, did YouTube ruin football? What's the difference? <laughs> what? What? YouTube Madden ruined football. Eat, sleep, Ray Raheem. Now we'll be real, chat. Raheem Mostert has been the best guest they have brought on to congratulate the winner, right? We've had Raheem Mostert, a mascot, some line lineman from the Bills, Nick Mangold. Nick Mangold was kind of a dub. Nick Mangold was a slight dub. I'll be honest. <laughs> Why are we flaming the Colts? There, there's nobody that's good at the game because they watch YouTube. I'm going to tell you guys that right now. There's nobody that's good at the game because of YouTube. There's nobody that's good at the game because of eBooks. They can help you. They help me. YouTube helps me. eBooks help me. They always have. Learning what other people have. If there is knowledge in the world and you don't attempt to find it out, you are a fool. That's, that's how, whatever it may be, man. If you want to be a plumber, right? And there's YouTube videos on how to, how to get a better shark bite. Get your shark bites working better, right? You want to go watch the YouTube video, right? Now, before, before a plumber in the chat tells me shark bites suck, let's fucking relax a little bit and reel it back. Because I know a plumber's going to come in here and say, shark bites, shark bites don't work right. I'm telling you. It's going to happen. You know? And, uh... If there's knowledge in the world, uh, then you don't try to get, you know, try to achieve the knowledge or try to find out the knowledge, and you're cheating yourself. See, look, shark bites are trash. There it is. There it is. Shark bites are trash. <laughs> there we go. Shark bites. Shark bites are the the homeowner special, bro. For real. For real. I mean, my electric skills are pretty good. My splicing, you know, my wiring, you know, I'm, I'm pretty good at that, you know? Yeah, Shob, I, I understand that shark bites are trash. Shark bites are the, uh, the homeowner special. 
Did I freestyle? Of course I freestyle. Bro, everybody has to freestyle. I feel like if you go to a tournament, you're going to have to say, fuck it, this might work this play and practice and kind of lab in game a little bit. Everybody's defense is different. One person, one person can run three, three, five way different than the next person. It's all, it's all, it's all changeable or it's all different. And sometimes you have to see what works against one player and what doesn't work against the next player. Bro, there's not, there's not a, there's not a run this play on first down, run this play on second down, run. It, it, this is just not how it works. You know what I'm saying? All right. Shark bites are trash. See, there it is. Exactly, bro. You got to steal shit, bro. You got to steal shit. You think, bro, do you think, who's your NFL team? Let me know who your NFL team, who your offensive coordinator is, right? Now, you don't think you don't think that your head coach isn't watching Andy Reid and saying, "What can I add to this team?" Or what can I what can I add from Patrick Mahomes and Andy Reid's playbook and put in my playbook? Oh, you oh, damn. That's tough. What what kind of running plays are they running with Lamar Jackson? Let me see their play. Let me see. Let me bring that over here. You know what I'm saying? How was Blocky shut down? He ran the same play over and over and over, bro. He ran, he ran double posts every play, uh, and that boy ran a lot of good zone coverages out there. He manned up the he called the right play at the right time, honestly. He got some good pressure. The Sixers got a Kentucky guy? Okay. Anybody from Kentucky? Come on down. Kentucky, Kansas, I'm cool. What's another? What's an, Actually, Kentucky is the number one school for people I want drafted. Eat, sleep, brave, Raheem. My man AS with the five months, bro. No, Duke is not professional basketball players. That's an L. Duke is an L. Duke has not had any good... Like, Duke has had Kyrie, who really wasn't even a Duke player. He was there for half a year and got hurt. Like, who are Duke's... Like, think... All right, let's talk about Duke. Duke professional players. Grant Hill, obviously, but he got hurt. And, you know, Grant... Tatum is a good one. Z- Redick... Marvin Bagley. Eh. Eh. I I will tell you this. Duke has Duke has changed in the last three or four years. Boozer, come on, bro. Boozer. All right, I'm comparing them to Kentucky. I'm comparing them to Calipari, who has been a one and done super fucking bro. Yeah, bro. Y'all have to understand, bro. Okay. Let's relax, bro. Calipari has... Now, Now listen. Coach K has always been... Listen. Coach K has always been a senior. Let me keep my guys for a lot of years. Now, Coach K has loosened that philosophy in the last five years. Agree or disagree, chat? That's what I'm saying. Calipari has always been a scumbag. I'm getting the best players one and done. That's been Calipari's whole MO for his whole career. Right? From Memphis to Kentucky, I think he was in like Rhode Island or some shit before Memphis. And Duke has never been that, that, you know what I'm saying? No, Duke has never been that program until the last five years or so. I'm not saying a scumbag, I'm just saying he's gotten, Calipari's mindset has, I want the NBA talent rather than the best college team and college, you know, traditional program. So Calipari's recruiting has always been more geared towards NBA players rather than college players. Now, Coach K's philosophy has definitely loosened and changed within the last five years. Example, obviously Zion and Tatum uh, in the last couple years. But Calipari has always had that philosophy. You know what I'm saying? Higgins, something like that. It could possibly happen. So that is why when I see Kentucky, I think that's more of a pro program. Kentucky is more of a, I'm pushing players to the pros. Duke is more of a, I'm a college. This is our, our you know, we're, we're, our pedigree is college success and something like that, bro. That's just how, that's why I said, when I see Kentucky, my eyes light up. That's a pro player. So I'm glad the Sixers drafted somebody from Kentucky. In fact... In fact, if you would have asked me 
if you could, if the Sixers draft one player from one school, I would one million percent said Kentucky in an instant. Let's talk about Trevor Lawrence. I don't know shit about him, bro. I just hope, um, uh, what's gonna call it? Yes, he got game. Literally, what I said in the last five years, his philosophy has differed and gotten more into that pro dynamic. You know, especially with the one and done rule. Now the world is a little bit different, bro. That's it. The Al Horford trade was a super W for the Sixers. I almost said the Eagles. You know, it sucks they had to give up a first round pick. But I'm happy they got rid of the Horford contract. I thought Horford would be pretty good for the Sixers. I didn't think he was. I really think Horford fell off the map in one year. I don't know how he got that. Like, he got, like, just, like, he got old. Like, you know, he hit that old wall. Like, it wasn't, he just was, like, missing layup. He was just bad. But I did think the philosophy of getting Horford, I thought it was a good philosophy. Um but it didn't work out. And like I said, it goes back to um, uh, this is the first hour on a date. The chick is uglier than she was in her Tinder pictures. Let's bail and go back home and get on Tinder. And what the Sixers did was fucking bail. They had to pay, they had to pay for the dinner before they got to eat. But they paid the $200 dinner and they went home and now we're back on Tinder. So, you know, it is what it is. You know. Um, uh, Horford was a fit because one of the six, my man, Leo with the five gifted, um, Horford, uh, this is what I'm saying. Yeah. Horford and abs. Now Horford was a fit because the Sixers biggest weakness in the last three years is Embiid had to go to the bench. So they always had a shit big man. Their defense was bad. So now you never lose a good big man on the field. If and honestly, if Horford and Embiid play at the same time, I mean, I wasn't that. It really wasn't that big a deal to me. I thought defensively they would be really, really good. Uh, and, and and honestly, I, I really and nobody really got to see what the Sixers team would be like. At the end of the day, they played one year, and and Ben Simmons did not play in the playoffs. So I feel like they we never really got to see. And obviously, it did not work in the regular season. I thought it would be more successful in the playoffs. But, I mean, it, we really didn't get to see. And at the end of the day, it was a bad contract. And uh, and they were able to get out of it. So, it was a good it was a good thing to get out of it. I had to give up a first-round pick. But it, it's the NBA, bro. If you don't have a top-five pick, you might as well kiss the baby. And, you know. Yeah, I, I'm... It was a good trade. Good trade. And, and, and one of the biggest deals was that Horford did bag and beat. Horford gave him beat hell. And to get rid of him, I, I just think, uh, I, I um, in my mind, it, it was a little bit, it could have worked. Now, I'm, listen, I'm an upside guy. I am. I'm not, I'm not Debbie Downer ever. If you guys listen to all my philosophies, I am like, why did they do this? How can it work? And that's what I, that's what I focus my mind to. Like, bro, this can work. I know, you know. I don't even know what else to talk about. We can talk about Chicharito, Earl Year, Earl One. I like talking hoops, bro. Size of quarterback. Whoa. I mean, Wentz is the man. Wentz is the man. Uh, I'm picking Herbert. That's my favorite player. Although Burrow is a glitch. Was it great watching Earl win? It was cool. Cool for sure, man. Uh, what was I going to say? Okay, let's talk about my man Chichi Rito. Chichi Rito. Okay, here we go. Chichi Rito. That's a guy that's cooler than franchise. I'll be honest. Probably the coolest member of TNC, Chichi Rito. My guy. Free the Penguin. Now, the chat, I want you guys to agree that, yo, the EA stream was rolling with my the Penguin idea, bro. Sorello, my guy. Tier one, three months. You guys know, you guys know that I told him to be the Penguin like two years ago, bro. You guys know that. In fact, I think it was one of the first five shows we ever did. And I'll be honest. User and them was rolling with my content. They were rolling with my content. And when I say rolling, 
Bro, they were rolling down the hill in a barrel. They were full sending the roll. I said, damn. I need to copyright strike them, bro. But uh the penguin is a the penguin is a is a generational name. It is it is good. And uh honestly, um well let's say uh the penguin Chichirito always been always been a, he's always been a good leaderboard player. Glad he finally won his club. His jersey was a little crazy. If you guys I like and, and I, I we can bring this up because the the jersey they put my man in was kind of nuts. I'll be honest. I don't know where what this jersey like it was kind of nuts. They had my man in the full jersey. Like I don't know why like I don't know what I don't know why that was the choice, bro. Like it was a little I mean it was a little crazy, this jersey. I mean, you know, I mean, maybe you want to get out there and hit somebody. But they had my man in the full jersey. You know? Yeah, I, 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 you know, I don't know. If he had, bro, if he has shoulder pads, he might have been went crazy. He might have went crazy. If he has shoulder pads, he might have went crazy. He might have went crazy. Little eye black action. He works at a gas station. My man Chichi Rito. But um, no, uh, Chichi won, and and I uh, he was capping at beast mode. Um, joke can't save him. You know, and I guess I, I don't know. He was thinking a little. I'll be honest. He was thinking a little bit, a lot. Joke the whole time, bro. He was giving joke a lot of thought, bro. He was thinking about joke a lot. I don't know. Joke can't save you. So, is there is there a brewing rivalry between the TNCers and the EMBers? Now, the EMBers and the TNCers, these are the guys that pick up everybody that that you know wins games, bro. They 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 are the the crews that have these at the have the uh you know the twenty seven members. These are the crews, bro, for real. Now, old school TNC, you know, back when it was J Wall and Fancy. Uh, that I mean, you know that that had a little more. It was more a little more genuine. Now it's getting a little watered down, you know. And they, they, it's a lot more. There's a lot more spiciness to this new TNC. I don't know, you know. So Chichirito has has kind of sparked the uh, the TNC EMB rivalry, boys. And I, I, who do you guys going with when we talk about this TNC EMB rivalry? Now, EMB is always, you know, they're like the villain, so you're going to pick against them for the most part. Um, but I'll be honest, EMB has way more pedigree than them. Way more. It's really not even close, honestly. Being honest. No, see, and, and EMB is easily hateable, bro. You know? EMB is joking everyone else. Is that how is that how EMB work? Is that EMB? D Croft is the anti joke. What does that mean, Nappy? TNC in a fight over EMB. Nah. TNC in a fight over EMB. See, now this is what I want to talk about. Now, now we're cooking with gas in a fight. We need matchups. Oh, this is I don't know. D Croft D Croft does have the size advantage. I don't know, bro. I don't know. D Croft might go crazy on EMB, bro. D Croft might go crazy on EMB. D Croft might just be like, whoo, whoo, whoo. I don't I don't know, dude. I don't and, and the thing is, a D Croft ain't a fighter. 
Bro, he might just go crazy. Like, he might really go crazy. Like, he might go crazy. But EMB does have, I mean, Safa's a little, a little running back boxer guy. But he's kind of small too. I don't know. Safa's not a big guy, but he's more he's a more athletic, like, you know, that type of guy. You know, he might be able to, but he might. I don't know. Uh, D. Croft, bro. D. Croft or that. Yo, Eminem D. Croft? He might run through EMB by himself. Now I think about it. I don't know. Blocky can throw down. What? What? Cards. What makes you think Blocky can fight? Now, I'm not saying he can't. But what is like, bro? Yeah, he can fight. What about Blocky makes you say he can fight? His his when he blinks his eyes. Blocky, see, Blocky is a boxer. He might be hell. I don't know. I'm just saying. What makes you guys think that? What? All right, was right, so, so Blocky's a boxer. I'm saying I didn't know that shit. That's what I'm saying. What makes you think he can fight? I'll be real. Y'all talking about a lot of small... Yeah, two, yo, the two quiet people, bro. Y'all talking about a lot of small people, bro. All right, now Blocky's Mayweather. All right, 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 all All right, first of all, Shrek. Yeah, J Wall definitely a slapper. <laughs> Little man definitely got a shank. Little man definitely has a shank, bro. I'm telling you. <laughs> Ice would be a decoy, bro. No, Ice might go crazy. What team is Ice on? Oh, he on TNC. Yeah, TNC might flood him being a fight. No, nah, nah, I can't lie. Beast Mode can't fight no more, bro. No, nah, that shit over at the, after the problem shit. No, nah, that shit. Nah, nah, bro. He not in a fight. EMB really just got Safa and... Maybe Stevie J. I don't know. Stevie J. He got Carrie not fighting, bro. Carrie, bro. Carrie not fighting. They got Mills though. Oh no, they got Mills. Mills might go crazy. Mills might have a shank too. Mills might have a shank too, bro. Yo, between Mills and Little Man, bro, y'all they might be in trouble, bro. They might be in trouble. Yeah, Carrie not, bro. Carrie on chill. Bro, I'm be honest. D. Croft is the only big motherfucker, bro. He's gonna throw people around. I'm be honest. Everybody else is everybody else is, is featherweights, bro. Y'all don't even have any fat people. Penguins is like, you know what I'm saying? He uh he kinda like he in between. Uh, D. Croft is a big fucking dude, bro. I don't know, bro. I don't know. D. Croft is a big yo, D. Croft is like I mean, he a little awkward, but he, like, taller than me. Like, yo, D. Croft is a big dude. Like, he would have to be super awkward not to catch bodies against EMB, bro. I don't know. His awkward level would have to go through the roof. And I don't think it – I feel like he got an awkward level, but I don't think it's that crazy. I don't think it's that crazy. Yeah, Croft is bodying some people, bro. <laughs> like, yo, he's going crazy. Salty. Yeah, Croft is a unit, bro. Yeah, he was probably like 6'5 or some shit. Salty. Salty loses the uh little man. Little man, little man beats the shit out of Salty, bro. No, I like I like little man over salty, bro. Little man fries salty, bro. Y'all tripping. Y'all tripping, bro. Y'all tripping. Little man, bro. Do we have to do a gauntlet? Do y'all remember the gauntlet? Bro, he got car fixing. He's a Puerto Rican from New York, and y'all picking salty over him? Do we have to do a salty versus little man gauntlet? 
Do we have to do Salty versus Little Man Gauntlet? Does it have to happen? Because it could happen. It could happen real quick. <laughs> the gauntlet. <laughs> the gauntlet. Bro. Yo how, yo, how does Salty get 25K, bro? What happened, bro? I seen a tweet. Salty said, uh, yo, Salty said, I'm, I'm merging my business account with my main account. Hold on. What happened, bro? Did Salty cop the followers, bro? They going to get him, bro. They going to get him. They going to delete them. Salt Nation. Drop shipping? What the fuck? Hold on, man. I need more. I need more info on this, bro. I, I need to. I need to. I need to go, uh, bro. I'm be honest. We need to go. We need to go. And, and we need to go figure this out. We gotta figure this out as a team, bro. What what has happened? Salt Nation. Salty. Oh, he got two. See what happened? I don't follow this one. Is this a good one? Oh, I don't follow that one. Damn. Salt Nation. Salt Nation. Look at this fucking guy, bro. Eddie Eyeballs. That's all we got? We got one picture up here? We don't have any tweets? Carson Wentz wet. I mean, agreed. Agreed. Oh, I can't even okay, say it. Carson Wentz will have a second half MVP second half. Confirmed. Confirmed. I mean, I'll be honest. I'm a little disappointed. I'm a little disappointed with this right here, bro. A little disappointed. I'll be honest. I'm a little disappointed with that one, bro. Yeah, yeah. You can't have 20. I, I don't know how you got all these followers, bro. So did we buy followers, bro? It's nothing wrong with that. Sometimes you gotta buy buy followers to uh, like get them popping. You know what I'm saying? Oh, y'all really talk? Y'all are we really doing Eagles hate right now? I'm just saying when when you buy followers, they're going to catch you, bro. Then they're going to delete your followers. I feel like, is there only one Salty account now? What what has happened to the Salty accounts? I don't know what the fuck is going on right now. Yo, this dude Kev is living good. I'll be honest, bro. This dude Lord Phenom is living. Look where he lived, bro. Look where he lived. We let, uh, I'm be honest. Now, you right, can't. Now, listen. We laughed at K-Mac for where he lived. Look where this motherfucker, Lord Phenom, lives, bro. Holy shit. And the worst part about... Yo, the worst part about his pickup truck is he got a cover on the bed. So you can't even put shit in the bed. Nah, bro. Ain't no trenches, bro. You see that green grass? That, yo, his neighbor's got a Subaru. Your neighbors have a Subaru. You can't cap when your neighbors have a Subaru, bro. Bro, this is bro. He lived next to K Mac. Bro, he lived right next. K Mac lived right here in this house, bro. Ain't no cap no more, bro. Facts, man. Facts. That's K Mac crib right there, bro. My man got the gold chain. Okay, okay, okay. My bad. I mean, you might not be an XL hoodie. You might not be an XL hoodie. I'm be honest. Like, yo, listen, bro. You not, you know, people that's not really an XL hoodie. That's how Skimbo used to rock them joints. Like, bro, Skimbo, you're not a two X. His pictures in 4K. Facts, man. Like, bro, come on, bro. Girlfriend sweater. <laughs> Yo, he got the girlfriend sweater. Oh, y'all are cat. <laughs> oh, yo, the 2K Skimbo or the 2X. I'm like, bro, Skimbo, you're a X, you're a large type of guy. He was like, no, get me the hoodie in 2X. I'm like, what the fuck? Sweatpants 3X, hoodie 2X, bro. 
it's not cold out. My man in the biz herbs. My name is in the biz herbs. But in all seriousness, I know we talking about everybody rumbling. It's all jokes, man. It's nothing like that. And we're just laughing and giggling. Yeah. It's literally all innocent. And uh, any uh, animosity is not personal to anybody within the crew. I don't, well, maybe they really hate each other. I don't know. I don't really hate anybody. Um, but maybe they do. But me, I don't. It's just jokes. I don't want any of these guys to fight. Um, don't want that to happen anywhere. But slapping and giggling, that's all, man. It's all jokes. You know. Kid versus D-Croft. Now, this is where the only Madden talk I really want to have. I like just telling jokes. We love Kid vs. D-Croft, bro. We love this. Uh, once again, it would be probably, if this was a regular tournament, it might be a final 16, final 8, final 8 type of matchup. Right, boys? Like, Ice, they said Ice, they said you would lose the little man in, in a 1v1, in a fight, bro. That's what they said, Ice. They said, Ice, you're probably bottom of the, of the barrel in the TNC rumbling uh, lineup. That's what it said. I, 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 I'm not going to say I agreed. I'm just saying that's what the chat said. That's all I'm saying. Right? So, the 5-4 under? Nah. Low man fries ice. Low man fries ice. Yeah, I th We went over the gauntlet. I'm not doing no more gauntlets, bro. All right. So, anyway, enough of ice. Put Safa like 5-4-2. Safa is folding ice. I, yeah, ice does have the wood paneling from 1984. Ice over Vols? Word. Who who does Vols win in a fight? Vols is bot bro. Vols is bottom of the whole fighting. Like, if we had a Royal Rumble with the 100 people from Madden, Vols not even getting in the ring, bro. He gonna look at the rim like, nah, I'm good. What? <laughs> Vols loses to the wind. Bro. What? Bro, man. <laughs> Vols loses to his sister. <laughs> Vos, bro, that shit is funny. Vos, Vos you 4'9", for real? Vos, you short, too? All right. D-Croft versus Kiv. Game was meh. D-Croft, I'll tell you, man, this is what Madden's about, all right? And, and this is how Madden, this is what Madden about. D-Croft won the game. Why? Because he had a cover fucking three beater. That's why he won the game. That's why he won the game. He had the best cover three beater in the game uh, that nobody really kind of saw before. And he popped that John out. And I talked about this on my stream, right? Now, it wasn't on a podcast last week, but it was on the stream. I talked about it. Some of you guys were here. Some of you guys weren't. One of the biggest disadvantages for Kiv was that Turbo Jeff played the day before. And Turbo Jeff ran a similar defense to Kiv. They are in the same crew. D-Croft was able to see the defense, and he was kind of able to prepare for it. D-Croft, uh, not that he played great offense, but D-Croft did have two huge cover three bombs that worked in his favor that won him the game. The other reason he won the game, he caught him, he caught him with some user rushes. He caught him lacking twice. He caught him lacking twice. Uh, I believe he fumbled the first one. The quarterback fumbled, right? Uh, and he returned it for a touchdown, I want to say. Because D-Croft did throw a pick his first play. Club finals best of three would be pretty crazy. Yeah, everyone runs cover three for sure. But I feel like, uh, I don't know. Kiv's red zone offense was good, but the biggest plays in the game were a quarterback. We're both on the user rush. That's why everybody brought up the user rush. Uh, and for me, um, the user rush has always been banned through the A gap. You have always been able to use a rush, whether it's around the edge, whether it's around the whether it's the B gap or C, whatever it is. You were never able to use a rush right through the A gap, and that is because back in the day it was glitchy. You could stand in the A-gap as a spy and just boom, 
right in. I, there was nothing you could do about it, really. Uh, so back then, I've always thought, obviously, it's a uh, uh, all all. It's uh, it was always glitchy back in the day. So that's why it was banned. Now, I honestly, I don't think I don't think it it's a bad thing. I really don't think it's OP. I don't think it's a nano. I think running around the edge is pretty stupid. I think the tackle is a dumbass. But really, um, the whole running around the edge thing, like, I I don't know how to explain it. I, essentially, somebody could probably do that in real life, I guess, just run around all the way around the tackle. And what can the tackle really do? Uh, you got to kind of step up and help the tackle. Um, but I do think the way you can angle around the tackle is a little bit goofy. But I've always thought, I've always thought, but the user rush up the A-gap only works when they send the whole team, I think. It's not like he user rushes and is only blitzing three people, you know? And and every time, every time D-Croft caught Kiv with the user rush, it was a, it was a surprise. It wasn't, he, it wasn't like he was doing it every play. It was a surprise. It was, um... It was good defense, honestly. A tackle can push him, but kept, but it's kind of yeah, exactly. The tackle's a little bad on the around the edge shit, bro. So I never thought that. Uh, I I never think I don't think the the user rush should be banned. I don't think that shit is. I don't think it's op. It's dumb. But J Wall that and I hate when people say that shit. It's dumb versus under center, right? That is why football coaches instituted the shotgun 40 years ago that is why because the fucking running back cannot block the a gap without getting in the way of the quarterback it's literally the position on the field like what the fuck get out like for real if you're playing under center how do you expect your running back to block the a gap now now, you could obviously pinch your line, and you could get the running back to kick out the defensive end, right? That's that's what they'll say. Okay, pinch the line, get your running back to kick out the defensive end. Now, I feel like you probably could do that by sliding your line, IDing one of the, uh, the defensive ends, maybe getting your... I don't know. I don't know how to block under center. That's why have you guys ever seen me pass under center in my entire streaming Madden life? Have I ever? No, because I cannot fucking block. Them dudes scream at me. That is literally why there is a fucking shotgun. Literally why it's in the game. In real life. I like Like bro, like it's like like I I just don't uh, So as far as the user rush versus under center, I don't want to hear that argument ever. Yeah, I, under center is not, bro, like. You know what I'm saying? So I, I, I really don't, I, I really don't see. The under center argument is, a, it's not a good argument to me. The, my, my only argument is running around the edge. That's it. The tackle's kind of dumb. He can't block it. I don't understand why anybody would want it banned. I don't think it's that crazy, man. I mean, the strip spe Okay, the strip specialist thing is dumb. Is it really? Seriously, is strip specialist... Okay, how often do you see the quarterback fumble when he gets hit and uh, tackled in the pocket? Is it really dumb? Why? Why is it dumb? It's, it's an ability... I mean, strips, I, I don't know, bro. On conservative, it shouldn't happen. I mean, I agree with that. But then what's the point of the ability? That ability, maybe that, maybe that ability in general is stupid. I don't know. Now, I don't really know. I don't really... I haven't used the strip specialist that much. Is it a fumble on conservative every time? D 
Does conservatives stop the strip specialist? If if I feel like conservatives should stop the strip specialist. Would y'all agree with that? Or at least like super dumb it down, bro. Yes, civil. That's how I feel. The only one that's tough is the the run around the tackle because the tackle's too fat and slow. That's the only, and I said that's the only part that's goofy, and that's like a game thing. I don't think the user rush should be banned. I really don't. No, get the fuck out of under center, bro. Let's just, let's just be honest. Get, just get out under center. There's a reason why people don't pass under, under center. There's a reason there's four people that pass under center. Fuck. <laughs> yes, when it surprises you. And Decroft caught Kiv surprising him two plays. He did it the first play, and he did it on the pick six. He didn't do it all game. It wasn't overpowered where you could use a rush all game. He surprised him. He played, he just, he he was ahead of him. He surprised him, and Kiv panicked on the pick six. The other one, he got sack fumbled. That is why the defense worked. Not because it was OP, but because he surprised him, and he wasn't ready for it. That be just one sponsor. All right, this guy's silly beast. Yeah, get out of here. Yeah. Yeah, I want... Yeah, you get the fuck out of here, bro. Think about whether or not you want to... That be one bunch first bunch. Matt, bro, I, I said this. I think Madden's... I, I, I think the game is pretty good. I don't think we're going to get too much better game right now, bro. I don't think you're going to get too much of a better game right now. Yeah, I think if you ID him, you should be able to stop him. But then again, this is how the game works, right? Yeah, right, Simba? Say I ID to use a rush, and he doesn't blitz him. My offensive line still picks up the other guys rushing. Like, if you ID somebody and they don't blitz, like, bro, you should get screamed at because you were wrong. Like, if Jason Kelsey goes to the line and says, we're going to block this guy, and then the team rushes the other guy, the Eagles get screamed at. It's real life. We all settle for mediocre. We all settle for mediocre. Fucking losers, bro. <laughs> Fucking nuts. Two rushes versus seven blockers is trash. Two rushes versus seven blockers is trash. Oh my god, man. <laughs> Yo, save me, bro. No, we're not going to sub only. I like seeing the plebs, bro. I do agree that two rushers should never get home, really. Um, I feel like you should have to rush three. And that's how the game works, right? That's how the game works. I don't know if you guys know that's literally how the game works. Now, the good people know, so I'm not telling you nothing. Now, listen here, man. If you rush two people, they will never get home. They will get forearm shivered. They'll be on the ground the whole play. But if you rush two people, then you blitz your user, the game thinks you're rushing three people. So it lets those two people come in. That is why it's part of the reason why you see people blitz their user. The other part of the reason is your player moves a lot better when they're in a blitz than they are in a zone. So if you're struggling on defense, make sure you blitz your user, okay? And run around with a blitzed user. So that way, the offensive line thinks you're rushing more people, so their pass blocking isn't good. That's how it goes. Now, I'm, I'm to the point where, you know, I think that we should up that number to, to four pass rushers. Because I, I think a three-man rush is way too good, really. But I think a four-man rush should be pretty good. I think a four-man rush should be pretty good. I, and I don't, think, I don't think sheds are, like, super bad, really. I really don't. I get pressure sending one. No, you don't. Old mutt man, no. Then that's the end of the plebes, bro. That's it. That's it. I get rusher... I, I get pressure sending one. Never. Never does one person ever get home. Yeah, a three man rush is better than a four man rush. A three I, I think so. Yeah, three man is way better. Three man is like 
It's it's actually crazy how much better a three man rush is than a four man rush. Old mutt man. Yeah. Yeah, I feel like though I, I do feel like this is the worst the offensive line has been in a while. Offensive line is ass. Old man mutt. Old man mutt. That, that's my that's my that's gonna be my gamer tag next year. That's my gamer tag on the weekend league leaderboards. Old man mutt. All right, man. So, I, like I said, I don't think the user rush should be banned. I don't know why. Like I said it, it is a old thing because in, in our whole lives, the user rush through the A gap, uh, it was glitchy. And I don't think the user rush is really that bad this year. I don't think it's glitchy. I think it's good. I think it's a good wrinkle, really. And I'll be honest, bro. They got rid of every fucking blitz in the world. There's no blitzes in Madden. There are absolutely these are the blitzes in Madden. Put everybody in a box and blitz them all. I tell you what, the offensive line is hell against any blitzes, but against a three-man rush, they're stupid. Seriously, they have removed every aspect of blitzing. There was no nanos. There was no nothing. One far thick. One far here go one four six guy. One far thick. The top five. One far thick. Bro, they have got rid of every aspect of blitzing, bro. You guys have been playing Madden for fucking one day, bro. One far thick. One far thick. No, I'm telling you, they have removed finding blitzes. They have removed every... I'm telling you, every aspect of blitzing sucks, bro. One part thick is hell. One part thick. I'm just done with the plebes. The plebes are just fucking... Dark, uh, that's a good... Does the O-line switch assignments? They switch assignments so fast. I don't know why they switch so fast this year. You can't blitz anymore, bro. So, so the uh, what you call it? So essentially, the user rush is the way to blitz. It is the only way to really bring heat, especially up the A gap. I mean, it's a good, it's a good mix up, and and you know, I mean, be ready for it. You know, be if you guys have seen it, you guys have seen people doing it. Just be hip, you know. And I've always thought every time you drop back. Uh, Facts comedy, that's cause that's crazy. That's crazy. Comedy, you show you ain't show me a two three six uh four man screamer. You ain't show me that. No, this ain't shut up, boys. Shut the fuck up. This disengage was necessary. This disengage was necessary. God, that was fucking stupid shit. Disengage was necessary. Yeah, I wouldn't. I don't know. Them dudes are fucking idiots. Trey, Trey just say whatever Bugs tell him to say, bro. That's all. He don't count, bro. He don't count. Trey don't count, bro. I don't know. I don't know how to ever, ever think that shit is good, bro. Yeah, Trey don't count. Is it, oh, oh, Bugs told me say that. Okay. Yeah. Why would the, the disengage is needed? Block it. Then I seen both of them. Then I watched both of them get their fucking heads beat in by disengage. They think they're fucking Nick Mangold with their blocking calls. Both of them, bro, bro. <laughs> like what? <laughs> disengage. I seen boys get blurred on Man Live against disengage. Like what? How is that shit good, dude? We just need to get rid of nano detection. You just need to get rid of nano detection is what you need. That's what you need. Then you create, getting rid of nano detection would have everybody in the lab looking for some type of defense, bro. Nobody labs, bro. Yeah. You know. D-line stunts have never been good. Red Rescue, no. D-line stunts have never been good in Madden. Ever. Ever. 
is audible down here to stay, bro. Yeah, I, I, I don't think, I think auto, I, I don't think, I don't think auto went down is that crazy bad, bro. I did not open no money spent rewards. I should open them now. No, podcast is not Wednesday. There were games yesterday. So if the games are Tuesday here on out, Wednesday could be the day that we sit here and break them down and shit. The audible system is how it always was. This is how it always was, bro. Wait, this is how life was for us poor fucking old Madden players, bro. Back when they used to go from bunch to freaking goal line. They used to go goal line to five. They, Bro, that's how it always was, boys. Yeah, I don't, I, I don't really have any real quarrels with the game. Little, just little petty shit, like the O-line and the, just little petty, petty, petty shit. The, the only thing about the, you just can't run, all you got to do is run nickel, that's it. And the run, the audible system is, bro, what do you want to do? I don't have a problem with the audible system, I really don't, dude. Yeah. Weak box shouldn't be there, but what are you going to do, bro? Wow. Now we're talking about Thursday night. All right, all right. Here, look at the plebs. Look at the last two pleb questions. Bro, look at the last simulator. Who y'all got tomorrow? Seahawks? Then the other guy asks, Hot Route Master versus Gunslinger. Literally, those are the plebs questions. Literally, those are the questions they asked. I Well, first of all, I think they should both be 2 AP, and I think Double or Nothing should be 2 AP. I don't think I don't think any of us ever disagree on that. I don't think we could dis... Double or Nothing is cracked. I'll be real, that shit is cracked. You know, but it's all, it's all, it's all kind of, you know, what's crazy. It's all kind of irrelevant shit because we all have mutt. Yo, we can all have anything. I don't think, I, I really don't think it's that big. Of... All abilities, one AP. Not bad, Gene. That's it. Yeah. It's everybody shut up and let's go. There you go, Gene, right there. All abilities, one AP. Ends all the arguments. Literally ends all the arguments. It's not a big deal, bro. <laughs> so there it is, bro. 1 AP. Everybody shut the fuck up. That's for real. That uh, bro, I mean, who says no? You'd have you'd have three one steps with bench press and acrobat. <laughs> uh, I'm with it, bro. I'm with it. I don't know. I don't know what. You know, I'm cool. All abilities, one P, one AP, bro. All abilities, one AP. Oh my God, y'all just. All right, I'm done. 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 Yeah, double or nothing is correct. Double or nothing is like the best ability. It's it's like the best ability, for real. Yeah, somebody just said archetypes, John James. I just heard archetype. Fucking god. Archetypes. Old man Mutt said archetypes. Oh, we're getting. We're just fucking. We're turning into bugs. Next thing, I'll have my glasses on. Check and release is great. It was just not in bunch. This shit don't work in bunch no more, bro. I mean, bring back rocket catching. I'd be all for that. Rocket catching, I'd be. I was a demon, bro. I'm gonna get Madden. I'm gonna get Madden 08 set up, bro. I'm gonna get Madden 08 and Madden 09 set up. I promise you. I'm working on it now to get Madden 08 and Mad Madden 09 especially because I need to show you fuck boys, all you little 18 year old Madden players, what it was like back in the desert. Okay, what it was like in the desert. Okay. Vertical should beat man more. Okay, boys. That's the end of the pod. This is, um, uh, listen, 
this was episode 106. Uh, there will be games on Tuesday. Um, I don't know who exactly uh, <laughs> vertical should be, man. Jesus Christ. All right. Um, uh, who plays on Tuesday, boys? Who plays on Tuesday? I don't know what division. Check in on my division. Sixers traded Josh Richardson. Big W. He was a fucking bum. Josh Richardson was a bum. What else did the Sixers do? So the Sixers got rid of Horford. We got a Kentucky player, and we traded Josh Richardson. The Sixers got Seth Curry. I mean, the Sixers got Curry. That's a dub. That's a dub. Honestly, I think Seth Curry is a dub for the Sixers. I'll be honest. I'll be honest with them, bro. Because I feel like he... And I don't know. Seth Curry is kind of ass. He's ass. Um, but I feel like he's a better ball handler than, uh, than, than Josh Richardson. I will tell you what. The Sixers' biggest weakness, right? Their biggest weakness in the last three years is they have had no half-court ball handler. None. There is nobody in the half court for the Sixers that can handle the ball, right? But getting uh, and getting somebody that can do that, and I don't know if Seth Curry is that type of ball handler. I know he can shoot, obviously, but I don't think he's that type of ball handler. But and I think that's the biggest weakness of uh, of the six. No, Jimmy Butler was not a ball handler. He's not. Y'all don't understand ball handler. That's the end. Y'all don't understand. When they say Jimmy Butler's a ball handler, I'm like, I'm just fucking like, I just like. Fucking. Oh my God, bro. The Sixers have had no ball handler, bro. A point guard, bro. A point guard. Fucking Ish Smith. Yo, this dude Ish Smith. Would have killed on the Sixers, dude. I swear to God. Ish Smith. I don't know how Ish Smith is not on a good team, bro. As a backup point guard. Bro, Ish Smith. I, yo, I'm. T he's not a bucket. Bro, he's a water bug, dude. He is a dude that just in and out picking rolls. And if he did them shits with Simmons or Embiid. Oh, my God, man. Shake Milton's ass. Shake Milton is not. He's not it. Ish, he's a point guard. That's what the Sixers... Now, McConnell... McConnell sucks, bro. The only thing McConnell got is the white man heart. That's all. And that's why Philly loves him, bro. I'll be honest. We love anybody that has any type of fight. That's it. That's it. If you got any type of fight, come on, let's go. Isaiah Thomas? Nah, Reggie Jackson, he not quick enough no more, bro. I'm not Reggie Jackson. I don't drastically underrate, underestimate the white man heart. That's all I have. What the hell? Somebody told me they got McConnell back. I don't think Seth Curry is like a crazy ball handler, though, really. I think he's a good shooter, but I don't think he's a, a crazy ball handler like his brother. You know, I don't think he's that person. But he could be tough, you know. Dragic is a good ball handler. Yes, Gordon Dragic for sure. All right, I'm done talking hoops. Y'all don't know shit about hoops. Y'all stupid. Y'all hoops stupid. Y'all know less about hoops than y'all do about Madden. New podcast episode 106, 107 next week after the NFC East games. Uh, we'll watch those when we'll be on Wednesday because the games are on Tuesday. We will be having a watch party. So YouTube, man, if you guys want to watch the games without being in that nasty fucking drops and crown chat, head on over to Twitch.